All right, let's look at this next game here. Bird food. Press air keys and space. Air keys plus space. Space to start. There we go. Oh, I died. Ah, all right, so we're playing snake. Ouch, I died. Boink, 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 boink. There we go. Mom made me so proud. Oh, okay, so it's it's all snake, but we're gonna have a chance where uh, we're gonna do some labyrinthy puzzle stuff. I'm having a little problem discerning the depth here. I'm not completely sure. Oh god. What? Why is there a... Why would we want to do that? What benefit? What benefit would that be for me to cut? Man. Oh. Do I have to cut a portion of this? Oh, man. Yeah, depth is a little hard to figure out on here. Yeah. That's what it looks like it's going to make it shorter. Promise I can play these games. There we go. Yes, now I am much, much shorter. No! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> so brutal. No! Gosh. I can see the comments on itch.io and first I was confused. Why, why should I cut myself? But it was very useful when you get too long. Good idea. But remember folks, if you get too cold, just cut yourself with my legs. Oh no, here we go. Oh Lord. Like what I think to be one block, it appears to be two blocks. <laughs> like that looks like two blocks, but it's not. It's actually three blocks. Much. Could I, like, sneaky sneak by and not even... No. Dang. Dang it. Man. And I'm not crazy. I mean, it really is the depth thing. It's, it's very hard to judge that depth. David. Oh. oh, you can't cut off the head. Then there's nothing left. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. It's totally messing with me. <laughs> oh, man. Take two quick turns either. Slice head off. Slice head off twice in a row. Can we shoot for three? No, oh, I got it right. 
right that time. Damn. I know this looks really simple, but I, I'm really struggling with that. It shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> I just want to get apples. That's all I want in life. Just give me some apples, please. Let's go this way. Hallelujah. Never go the other way ever again. Ever. Oh, oh, I missed an apple. Ah, oh, bug. No. Good <coughs> up. I think it's there's there is a space between every apple so you think you're moving one space to collect one apple but in actuality you're moving two spaces to collect one single apple oh, that's oh. I get what you're saying like the snake moves in a th in one third D's instead of trying to move the block so I'm gonna I'm gonna toss this game to you guys and let you try just to make sure I'm I'm not completely crazy. <laughs> I swear I can play Snake all day long, and I'm not bad at Snake, but the way that this is laid out is woo, that's very hard. Somebody else said it's really hard too. Sadie said it's hard too. No. So brutal. Oh my god. Feedback for this game. Snake too hard. Visually, it's a pretty game. I like the color palette that was chosen for this. I love this idea where you have to you have to sever part of your your limbs in order to keep going because you're just way too long. I think that's a cool mechanic. But the way that we have laid out the grid in this pixel world uh, is not equal to the ratio of the number of pixels per cube. Gosh, that's hard. Cut, cut, cut. Tubari! Welcome to the stream. Ah, uh, I forgot one of the apples. Mbaka. <laughs> oh, yes, I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear you guys' feedback for this game. See if you're able to beat. No. <laughs> Where I was. Keep in mind, I have to go all the way back out. After. <laughs> After I get cut up and collect those apples, I have to then circle all the way back out again. Oh my gosh. I haven't reached this much since Cuphead. No! It's just Snake. Oh, Josh McClain, did you play this game? No! Oh, I 
it hurts the heart. <laughs> I just want to be snake. <laughs> Got around the turn. No. I think if I didn't listen to the sounds too, I might have a better chance. Because it's hard. It really is. It's just Snake. Here, brother. What's wrong? Can't beat a simple game of Snake. No. Ah, ha, ha. I get so close. I still have to get out of this area, too. Like, I still have to go all the way around. Die. A couple more times and I'm quitting. I'm, I'm calling quits. Because, oh my gosh, it's just nuts. <laughs> How are you even staying calm? Years of practice. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I get uh, funny, funny raged. My, my Alt F4 adventures are typically just uh, screaming with maniacal laughter. Oh, oh, oh. Please, I just have to turn. Woo, it's a miracle. What? What on earth is this? Nope. Nope. I would just force shut down the laptop. <laughs> That's enough internating for today. It just collides where it doesn't seem possible to collide. My life! Oh! Felt like I've gotten farther on this one than I have the other ones. It seems like if I can talk over the clicks and stuff like that, then I don't have near as many issues trying to move around because I don't hear the click as much. Yeah, I think if the grid was just one bead bigger, we would be just fine. Just to increase that out, just a, just a wee bit, and we would be just fine. That's 35 seconds right there left on the clock yeah so that's that's really the biggest complaint and that's what's the showstopper for this game is it, the grid if we if we look at this at foreground and background the background being where you can place uh the head of the snake um is not the same ratio as the pixels that are in the foreground that are giving us the visuals of the snake and the apples and the the map and stuff like that they are skewed it's like there is one extra pixel in the background for uh every single pixel than in the foreground so we're we believe we should be standing on top of the apple and only the apple and i go to get that next apple there's a pixel in between that apple and the next apple causes crazy confusion <laughs> and most people to rage quit and leave but if we could fix that i think the rest of this game would be a lot of fun i do really really like the guillotine thing i think that's pretty cool a way to slow that down uh give you a little bit more to or a little bit less to manage so it's easier to manage i think that's a good idea i think that's cool but uh I honestly would like to see that used a little bit more. Yeah, I, I think I would like to see that a little bit more. Like where we we have very tight corridors where I, I'm gonna be circling back in on myself or something like that, like it calls me to um, you know, run into myself. Maybe we could look at adding gates and stuff into this later on where I have to press the gate buttons and that has to be held down by my tail in order for me to get through the gate. 
if I don't have a long enough tail, then I run into not being able to press the gate and get through. So you could add a couple different things like that in this game and add a little more complexity, make it a little bit more fun and challenging. Um, but seriously, just fix the grid thing and I think go from there. That, that's probably the biggest recommendation I can add because, oh, oh boy, <laughs> that, uh, that was a challenge. Challenge! All right, so that was Bird Food by Kai Avi, I think is what I said. <laughs>